Hi there. Um, we're going on to the acids and bases unit. And in this standard, the acids and bases standard, if you don't know the names and symbols of the first 20 elements in your head, and there's four other elements from the periodic table that you need to know, then you are very, very, very unlikely to pass. Okay, so today's lesson is mainly about learning the names and the symbols of the first 20 elements. Okay, and it's a straight rote learn where you sit down for 20 minutes and you just keep writing the thing over and over again until you've got them perfect. And the way I like you to learn them is to learn the symbols first. And to do that, you should learn four words. And the very first word is he, he, capital H, capital H, E, he, he. That's the first line of the periodic table. So you practice writing that so that any stage you can think up that word. If you wake up in the middle of the night, you can think he, he, and you can write it perfectly with a capital H, and then another capital H, and then a little E, he, he. And there are four of these words that you need to learn, and the key is that you need to pronounce them very, very carefully and slowly and pronounce every letter in the word. The second line is L, that's L I, L, Bib, K, Nof, Ne. Okay, so you, what you need to do is to go over that, say that to yourself very carefully so you pronounce every letter L, Bib, K, Nof, Ne. Say it out loud very slowly and carefully a number of times. Okay, and the way you wrote, learn them is to write them out from memory. So if I have a piece of paper, I would now, I've had a good look at that, and what I would do is, I would then cover over that word, and from memory I might go, L, B, K, N, N. Once I've had a good go at writing it from memory, I then uncover it, and then I look at it, and I think, oh, goodness, I've left out that B there, and I've left out the O, and it's a capital O. Once you've got all the letters down, you need to make sure that you get the capital letter and the lowercase letters correct, because if you write B, E, that is not correct. Okay? So you keep on doing this. So once you've had a go, look at it carefully, study it up, cover it over again, maybe just fold your page over, and you keep on doing this, until you <clears throat> have it down perfectly. Take that off, and I'm getting a lot better here. Look at that. Oh, I've got the same element twice. I forgot that E for neon is on the end there. Okay. And I keep doing this again and again until I know lid big kin not knee very, very well. Okay. And then you go on to word number three. Num line number three on the periodic table is Nam Gal Sips Kla. That's eight elements in there. So I'm going through the game. He is pronouncing every letter. Nam, gal, sips, clar. Nam, gal, sips, clar. Same again, right now for another five minutes until you know it perfectly. Write it from memory. And you uncover it, unfold your paper. And check, and of course, 
there'll be lots of gaps and mistakes in that first one. Man, gal, sips. Whoops, I've left out a whole element there. I'll come and solve it. Man, get back to where again, memorize it. Man, gal, sips. Okay. So you keep on doing that. And you know that. Go back, practice the other three words. And then we're on to the last word, which is the fourth line, or just the very start of the fourth line. And that goes. Potassium and calcium. Okay. Potassium and calcium. So kick up if you wanted to. I used to know the Pharaoh Kaila and Karango Skit T Vikram and Bitcoin Kuj and Gangas and Bricker and learn the whole periodic table that way. Okay. So kick up, that's the four words. And when you finally come back to your first science lesson, I'll be giving you a small piece of paper. And your first job will be to write out all of those elements in order, and you will have to have the, their name. So he, he, the, bib, kef, nof, ni, man, gal, sips, kwa. And of course, that's for hydrogen, helium, lithium, yum, 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 as in your phone batteries, beryllium, which is the green color in emeralds, boron, which is good for preserving furs and skins, and carbon. Which is what you have left when you burn the toast to a crisp. Nitrogen, which is all around us. Oxygen, also all around us. Fluorine, as in our water supply, which keeps our teeth healthy. Neon, which is a gas. You'll often see it in the glass tubes with an electric current flowing through it because it glows and makes a neon sign. Sodium, magnesium, as in mag wheels. Aluminum, aluminum, as in aluminum, aluminum cans. Silicon, as in your computers. Phosphorus, for us, yeah, for plants, sulfur, all this stuff, chlorine, the smell that you get at the swimming pool, argon, because of panic buying all the Doritos and the corn chips and the chippies are argon, potassium. Kelsey, yum, 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 yum. So, you need to know all of that. And the pass mark is 40 out of 40 when you come back. So, you do that for 20 minutes a day, and you'll know it all for as long as you need to know it. A lot of boring rote learning, but it's if you don't know that stuff, you ain't going to pass. <laughs>